Hello, I'm Claudio, a cloud support engineer and EC2 Windows SME here at AWS Office in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you how to resolve Windows activation issues on an Amazon EC2 Windows instance. Let's get started. Windows instances use Microsoft Key Management Service, or KMS, for Windows activation. If your instance can't reach the Microsoft KMS server, then you might receive a Windows activation error message. One issue could be an incorrectly configured operating system level route. For example, if you deploy a new instance in a different subnet from a custom Amazon machine image or AMI, and you didn't use EC2 launch or EC2 config before you create the AMI, then you might experience Windows activation issues. Because Windows routes are an OS-level configuration, the new instance keeps the same route configuration of the original custom AMI. If the subnet is different, then the routes might point to a potentially unreachable gateway. The Microsoft server in AWS are 169.254.169.250 and 169.254.169.251. To check the current OS route configuration, run the following CMD or Windows PowerShell command. If the routes for the server aren't using the correct gateway, then activation may fail. For Windows 2016 and 2019 instances with EC2 Launch v1 installed, to reset the correct OS level routing table, run these Windows PowerShell commands. For Windows 2022 or Windows 2016 and 2019 instances with EC2 Launch v2 installed, EC2 Launch automatically resets the OS level routes every time Windows starts. If you need to manually reset the routes without restarting the instance, then run these commands to start the EC2 Launch v2 service. For Windows 2012 or earlier, run this command to restart the WCC2 config service. Now you can run the previous route print command again to verify the correct settings. If you still experience activation issues, then add an exception to allow Microsoft KMS traffic on any firewall or security software that controls outbound connection from your instance. Microsoft KMS run on port TCP 1688. Also, set your Windows KMS setup key. To do this, identify the correct Microsoft KMS client setup key for your OS version. Then, run this command as an administrator. For more information, see Key Management Service KMS, Client Activation and Product Key Microsoft documentation that's linked in the description of this video. If your instance is originated from an imported instance or from an earlier Amazon EC2 classic instance, then it might not have the correct IP address for the Microsoft KMS server. To configure and activate Windows, run these commands. If it's still failing, then check the connectivity to the KMS server with the following PowerShell commands and confirm that the connection status output is TCP test succeed equal true. For Windows 2012 or earlier version, check the following registry key. In Windows, activation may fail in case of time sync issues. For more information, see Set the time for a Windows instance AWS documentation that is linked in the description of this video. You can also use AWS System Manager or SSM Automation Runbook to troubleshoot activation issues. First, confirm that you are in the correct AWS region and then open the System Manager console. In the navigation pane, choose Documents. Search for AWS Support Activate Windows with Amazon license and then choose the automation document. Choose Execute Automation. Then choose Simple Execution. If you already use System Manager to manage your instances, then select your instance. 
If you don't use System Manager to manage your instances, then turn off Show Interactive Instance Picker and enter the ID of the instance. This creates a temporary rescue instance for the automation. For instances that System Manager doesn't manage, set Allow Offline to True and select the subnet ID that you want the rescue instance to run. Or choose Select Instance Subnet to use the same subnet as your instance. The subnet must be in the same availability zone as instance ID and must allow access to system manager X endpoints. Next, choose Execute. After the execution completes, the overall status shows as success. So now you know how to resolve Windows activation issues on an EC2 Windows instance. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.